nice run the other day. Coach Vogel said, I put him in the starting lineup because he had not played that many minutes and he deserved it. And this is gonna be, oh, look out. Marquise going after Boogie. Whoa, something really incited Marquise Morris. And he's still going after him. He's not letting this go at all. Well, what he's going to let go is uh, some change. Always, ha not always, but a lot of time it happens off the ball. As you can see, Markeith gets called, and then Boogie gives uh, Markeith a shoulder and a an forearm, and Markeith really d didn't appreciate it at all. So he retaliates, and we'll probably have them review this and see if they get both players with uh, technical fouls. So Cousins was sticking up for Jay Sean We're looking Tate. At, uh, about when you're a young basketball player playing against the best in the world, and that little spin move as he gets inside. Good defense by LeBron to shut him off there, but look at the spin by Tate. You think we ought to uh, save that? I know he will. For Tate. And you see Boogie didn't, wasn't malicious, but look at his slap, bang, right across the head. I think Boogie was going for the strip, but he got uh, look at that head instead of ball. Foul. Well, they're gonna look uh, at a possible flagrant. See, LeBron's checking for blood because <laughs> Boogie has his reputation is such now that if he comes anywhere close to a guy, they're going to take a look at it. And the rest of his uh, career is going to be that way because he is such a competitive player. And he hasn't had a lot of nice things to say about officials down through <laughs> the years no. either, and although he has mellowed a lot. But he does have one technical already in this game, so if they find a, a flagrant here, it's not going to be good news for Boogie. I got a wind up in fact to follow through on Cousins. Flagrant foul penalty two, he is ejected. Well, there you go. Yep. The wind up and the contact to the head is uh, automatic uh, flagrant two and an ejection. I don't think Boogie was trying to do that. But that's the way the NBA uh, calls these plays. Any contact above the shoulder. You see how Boogie wound up? He was going for the ball, but he did get his head. That was the correct call, and now the Rockets are shorthanded at their center spot. 